What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content to helping you increase your downloads and increase the money you are making from your mobile apps and games. And in this video, I want to share a simple technique that you can use to increase the revenues you're making from your mobile game. But first things first, let's get something out of the way. Your game better have great retention because without retention, forget about all the downloads you're going to drive, forget about any money coming in from your game. Retention is the most important metric that your game needs to have. Without retention, without users coming back into your game, all you have is a leaky bucket with some cool graphics. In fact, in my interview with Matthew Hall, who created the popular game Crossy Road, when I asked him about how he approached monetization, all he said was, I didn't care about monetization in the beginning. All I thought about was retention. How do I get my users back into the game? And moreover, the popular mobile games publisher Voodoo actually looks for games that have at least a 50% day one retention and an over 20% day seven retention during their soft launch. If your game does not meet those metrics during their soft launch, Voodoo will not publish your game. All right, now that's out of the way, let's get into that simple technique to help you increase your mobile game revenue. You ready for it? It is monetizing off impatience. That's right. It's a technique that I learned from my podcast guest, Brian Mashinter, who used to run games at Backflip Studios, but he said, look, Steve, I monetize off impatience. So if you think about popular games like Clash of Clans, where you're building things, where you're building an army, or you're growing crops, well, that takes time. So if you want to speed up that process, guess what? Buy some gems, watch some video ads, do things that help me as a mobile game developer make money and that'll help you as a user advance in the game at a faster pace than you want to. So let's look at some other examples besides Clash of Clans that are utilizing this strategy very, very well. Let's get into one of my favorite games right now. It's actually based off a very popular card game called Phase 10, and the mobile app is called Phase 10, so the gameplay is very similar. What I wanna point out here is that they required that you use five energy points to play. Now, I only have eight left, all right? So I'm gonna play this game just so you guys can get a sense of the gameplay. Now, they're not changing the gameplay much because it's a mechanic that already works in real life on the card game, the mobile app is now very similar to that card game with different elements about advancing and different stages and all that stuff. But the mobile game is very similar to the card game as well. All right, here, I need five to play. And here it is. I either have to watch a video or I can buy some gems, right? I'm gonna go ahead and watch a video, but this is a great way to monetize off of patience. I'm there, I'm almost winning this level. I want to continue playing, but I'm happy to watch a video ad so that you can make more money off your games. As the ad is playing, you know, this is a simple strategy that you can use in your mobile game to generate more money. And most video ads are a great way for you to earn that income because only about 5% of your users will actually pay for in-app purchases. So video ads are a great way to monetize your users without them having to spend any money. Okay, there you go. I got five coins. All right, Phase 10 is an example of a game that has really high retention rates, right? They're able to really monetize off these energy points because they know you're gonna play a lot of games, a lot of sessions. But what about a game like a casual game where you might play just a few times and then delete it and move on to the next casual game? Let's see how they monetize off impatience. I'm using Voodoo again, and this new game is called Stack Colors. It is number one under action and some more recent launch, so I wanted to really focus more on them. But let's take a look at how they're monetizing this particular game. 
all right, here's the gameplay. Here's the, I'm moving. I actually don't know how to play this game in the very beginning, but I'm moving around kind of figuring things out. Now with these casual games, the lifetime value of this user, of me, is not gonna be as high as a phase 10 or a clash of clan. So Voodoo and other casual game developers have to get really creative in the way they're gonna make money because they know they only have a small window of opportunity. So guess what happens after I pass this level? I didn't do as well as I should have, but I'm hit with a, it's coming, it's coming, a video ad. Again, the opportunity for Voodoo is very small. Whereas a phase 10 and Clash of Clans, they know they're gonna continue to make money because they know the number of sessions are really high. But with a casual game like Voodoo, they have that small opportunity, that small window to earn that money. And that's why they show a lot of video ads after each level. All right, guys, that's it. A simple way that you can use to increase your mobile game revenue. Again, if your mobile game has super high retention, people are coming back into your game, people are playing lots of sessions, then you just need to figure out little tweaks here and there that you can use to monetize off impatience. Can you add these energies? Can you do certain things that make your players wait? They love your game already, but can you make them wait? And that's why you see ads like Homescapes because they're barring off a match three game mechanic that has super high retention rate and putting game gardenscapes or homescapes where you can design your home, gardenscapes where you can design a garden. And so they're adding another layer and innovating off the normal match three that already has high retention. They're just adding another layer, thereby having a formula, a game formula that really works with high retention and innovation. And now they're able to figure things out. So that's one way to really start thinking about mobile games is not just copycatting off of a very popular game, but how do you innovate it and take it one step further and monetize off impatience. That's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and leave in the comments below what you thought of the video and the type of content you want to see in the future. Until next time, I am Steve P. Young. Go check out at masters.com and I'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.